all those commandments and, and trying to uh, live a holy life. So we have to thank God um, often that he thought enough of us to send his Holy Ghost and we have to activate the Holy Ghost in our lives so that it can do what it was intended to do. And we have to stop leaning on you know, our own understanding and we have to just kind of remove ourselves from the situation and let the Holy Ghost work for us and lead and guide us. And like yeah. Sister Amy said um, on Sunday, you know, she taught me something. Like I have been, I pray, but I do pray silently. I'll pray silently and then I'll I'll pray in my tongues. But I didn't, I don't even know why I didn't know. I think part of me, um, like this was an old teaching, you know, don't pray out loud because you'll let the enemy know, you know, what you're praying for. And that's how, I was taught earlier on. And so I tried not to pray out loud. But then my sister Kimmy was like, no, you got to, when you ask in the Holy Ghost for direction, you got to say, Holy Ghost, is this right here what I need to do? Please show right. me, give me a sign, let me know. But you have to audibly say it, you know, and I was just praying in my heart, you know, thinking that I was doing it the right way. So I think and praise God for uh, you, sister Kimmy, because um, to be honest with you, you don't know that you're doing something incorrectly until you tell somebody how you're doing it. Yeah. You know, okay. and that's why being part of the village is so paramount because when we get the opportunity to speak how we feel and how we interact um, in our relationship with God, if there's a correction that needs to be made, the Holy Ghost will, will give it to Kim. Kim will give it to us and not in no, um, you know, mean spirited way. She's, she is with compassion. She helps and leads us and teaches us. And that's why Amen. so much of the message is kept in our heart is because of the delivery. So, you know, I think and praise God for that because she like, what was that, the the, the, uh, the teacher in the Karate Kid, the little little Asian man, I can't remember his name, but you remember how he taught the little Karate Kid how to how to become a champion. That's yeah. how Kim, it, Kim does. Kim takes time, believe it or not, Kim, every single person on this line has a personal relationship with Kim. So it's not like she's just speaking to the masses of people. Every single person on this line, she has dealt with personally. You know, so I think, yeah. and that takes a lot. How many pastors you know can say that they have dealt with every single person that's in their ministry personally? Not a whole lot. Not a yeah. whole lot. You know, it's a handful of people. And then they choose and pick who they want to help. You know, Sister Kimmy, if you call her up, I'm sorry if it's in the midnight hour. You know, it just depends on who you are. But sometimes you need help in the midnight hour. And I know people have called her in the midnight hour. Amen. And she has been there for them. So I just thank and praise God for the teachers because um, he put all of that in her so she could give all that to us. For Amen. us to be able to give it to someone else. So Amen. I thank and praise God for that on tonight and the reading of his word on tonight. Y'all pray my strength in the Lord. Amen. Bless God. Bless God. Thank you, sis. That oh, is you just so heartwarming um, to know that, you know, I know you guys are appreciative, but it's just so good to hear that. You know, I do appreciate that because again, you know, what I do again is not easy. So I do appreciate when people acknowledge that. Amen. And, you know, but the one thing I want to say, Crystal, you were saying, and um, about, about the Pharisees, and they didn't know this and didn't know that. But look, to everybody go back to the book of Matthew chapter 11, verse um, 25. Chapter 11, verse 25, it reads, uh, it reads, at that time, Jesus prayed this prayer. Oh, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, thank you for hiding these things from those who think themselves wise and clever and for revealing them to the child like, yes, father, it pleased you to do it this way. So he's saying like, God did that intentionally. He hid the truth. Why? Because their hearts wasn't right. They yeah. were wicked. So he hit, he made it, well, if you don't, he made them reprobate, okay? These, because before Jesus came, we got to realize the Pharisees and the rulers of Israel, they were very corrupt. A lot, most of them were corrupt. Mm -hmm. So God already knew this before he even came in the flesh. So that's the reason why it was set up like that. It wasn't that 
They did not have a, ch a chance. They did, but they were reprobate. And that's what he's showing us in this verse. The uh -huh. only reason why is that what he said. You hid it from them, the wise and the clever. You know clever. That means they're trying to get over on people. What does the word clever mean? Uh-huh. Shady. <laughs> yes. Shady. All right? <laughs> So they were already living like that. They were just corrupt, reprobate minds. So that's the reason why he said, but you revealed it to the childlike people, the people like us, like, yo, I need help. Amen. I need help. My stuff ain't right. Amen. Amen. So mm -hmm. again, a lot of these people running around here, these as uh, uh, agnostic folk, you know, narcissistic attitudes, that they don't need Jesus and stuff. A lot of these folks reprobate. Hello. All right. Ooh. Anybody else? Anybody else have comment? Hmm. I'm just grateful for the word. Um, this part, I mean, it just make you wish that you was there, <laughs> you know, to just walk, <laughs> just to walk next to Jesus and just to be there and just to experience that personally, like they did, you know. Yeah. I'm just waiting for the clouds to open up. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. I'm just waiting for the clouds hey, to open up. Hey, we all get late to that third Amen, amen, amen. That's all I gotta say. Thank you. Hallelujah. And um, with Miss Miss um Crystal, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes, you are one hundred percent right. She is always there, so I do want to second what she said. I appreciate you, Miss Kim. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you so much. To God be the glory. I'm just glad um the Lord has chosen me to help a group of people, you know, spiritually, and I have the opportunity to share everything that the Lord, uh, through the power of the Holy Ghost, has endowed in me to give it. Uh, you know, I started on my journey just helping my family. My me, firstborn, DP was my first client. <laughs> okay, because he's my child. So I put everything, I download everything God downloaded me to him. That's a fact. And to my other That's kids. a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> yes. So he Amen. was the first initial one, and then it just started moving. The Lord told me, start helping people over here, helping people over there. Go to this person's house, pray their house out. You know, and it just went on and on. But the thing of it is, it's all about living a life of obedience. You just have to be obedient. You're not going to always want to do what God tells you to do. Trust and believe me. Uh -huh. But yes, Jasmine says she's thankful for the reading. All right, Jazz. She's at work and she's consistently coming on. She's still logging on, even though she's at work. To God be the glory. She's doing her job. And I'm just so proud of her. All right. Okay. Anybody else? Praise the Lord. I'm sorry I came on late. I had a therapy session today. And I oh, okay. Okay. It kept, they usually do it on Zoom, but today we had to be in person. So I um I thank and praise God because I was in there talking about talking about the goodness of God in there to the ladies in the therapy group. And we that's what kind of lasted us on we, we for us to be on in there so long. Cause I started telling them, I said, Look, y'all just don't worry, fret not God. Got y'all, you know, asking them, you know, do everybody do everybody know the Lord is they um save you. And the Lord is Savior, and they was like, my therapy, they, she was like, you was fed through had the Holy Ghost. She said, I feel a whole different, a whole different uh, atmosphere around you. So I'm just like, yeah. yeah. And then she was like, you just seem, you seem happy. Uh, you seem more happier than you. I, I, Amen. I said, Amen. Like Amen. I said, I'm telling you, you I, like, I said, you know, sometimes I tell her, I'd be like, yeah, I'm at peace. I'm good. I'm at peace. She's out there. No, I was no nowhere near peace like the peace I got now. I Amen. said I, I would, would get anxious and when stuff go on and all that, and I'd be worried about it real fast. Real fast. But Amen. I was, like the peace, just everything is everything that I needed in my life is is the yeah. peace. Everything that's I like. I just thank God and I told him. I said, look. I told him. I said, let me tell you something. I said. God, I told her, I said, they let me go from the job 
And then I got another one. I said, then they let me go back. And then I left. Then I'm gone again. Now I'm somewhere else that I need to be in. And then she like, she said, you don't feel no way about it. I said, no, I'm good. God put me in places that I need to be. Amen. Amen. So she was like, you know what, you know, that's good. And she was like, keep on praising God. I was like, yeah. And I'm going to keep on telling you every therapy session. Yeah. So I just, thank God for that. It, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I won't Amen. up here, but I was in there. I was in there being obedient. As soon as the movie was over, we was watching a welfare movie or something. As soon as it was over, I started saying, thank you, Jesus, because we are not like that no more. We are not in those times no more. Yeah. The movie was from, 19, from the 1950s. How with welfare and stuff was back then. I was just like, soon as they cut it off, I said, "Thank you, Jesus." Yes, <laughs> glory. I just thank you. I was, I was, I am ecstatically happy. Like, thank you, Jesus. Yes. Look, exactly. I, I, ain't heard, I ain't heard what's going on over here, but I tell you what, I was still in the presence of the Lord. That's I right. Was, I just thank you, praise God. So, y'all can see the <laughs> Yes. Amen. Amen. God Thank is you. so good. Yes. And that, that Holy Ghost makes all of the difference. It's the difference. The yes. difference. The difference. I yes. mean, you know, without it, you when you get it, you'll be knowing what you've been missing. Just put it like Amen. that. Amen. 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 Anybody else want to comment? Monique, Shaquavia? I think, did you put yours in the chat, BJ? Mm. Mm -hmm. Hi, um, I just want to say thank God for the reading on tonight. And um, you could definitely like visualize, you know how when you start understanding stuff, you start visualizing everything you're reading. So it was like, um, it's kind of like I'm visualizing and I'm putting myself in the book or in the story that we were reading. And I just want to um, thank God. And I pray that I stay obedient to his word. Mm. Oh, okay. Yes. Amen. Bless mm. God. Yes. It's so true because, you know, you, we, you, again, you're starting out on your journey. You're learning. Everything is new. You have to keep practicing it to get used to it. Amen. And look at summer. <laughs> <laughs> and so we uh, look like a little bunny and we just, we <laughs> praise God that we have the opportunity in this platform, y'all. Y'all keep praying that this, you know, we can stay on this platform, okay? All right, so let me read BJ's uh, uh, comment. Okay, BJ said, uh, thank God every day. Uh, thank him, he really do. And I love God like him. It's got my back. <laughs> God got his back, like always. And I thank God evening, this evening, do I like that he woke me up this morning. Amen. 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 Uh -huh. All right. Yes. Amen. To God be the glory. I tell you, boy, BJ is on fire. He don't miss a beat. <laughs> he do not miss a beat. So we just appreciate all the young people, young adults coming in the room and, you know, sharing in and listening and paying attention like Jasmine kids. When they on, they paying attention. You understand? Oh, all yeah. right. So what's going on with Mo? Monique, are you there? Praise God. Yeah, I'm listening. Oh, I was okay. just listening. Oh, um, okay. You know, I'm just grateful to God for um, the reading of the word, you know, and Every book that we read, you know, everything that we're reading about in the Bible, I just try to put myself in it, like Shaquavia was saying, you know, yeah. how, how it relates to my life. And I, you know, I was thinking about, you know, just people. It's this song that I be listening to sometimes about how to be delivered from people, okay? Uh -huh. And yeah. I, I mean, I think about, you know, those Pharisees and the Sadducees. And I look at those people and then I look at these people. Yes. You, you understand? And it's like, it's, you know, it's the same thing. Yes. You know, I mean, no matter, you know, it's, it's amazing how, you know, you can do all you can for people, 
or you can, um, um, you know, do what you can to help or, right. you know, you, you show up, you know, um, but people, you understand, gonna make it wrong some kind of way. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, I mean, what they was doing to Jesus was just horrific, but, and it's like, he was good. Right. You know, I'm, I'm thinking about, you know, um, and not because I was so good in my life, but, you know, when you try to do good, evil is always lurking. Yes, you know, it that's is. just what it, it, it reminds me of, mm -hmm. you know, and, um, you it's know, always around lurking. Yes, it is. And then how I thought back to when we was in that place um, when and I was talking with Sister Crystal and I was like, man, I wish I had a sister like that, you know, um, and um, then we met. You understand me? God was the connector of that. Mm -hmm. you know? And then I received the gift of the Holy Ghost. God was the connector of that. Because see, um, but people was around like the Sadducees and the Pharisees was present. You understand? It's, it's just amazing how, yeah. I, how I can see that story played out. Yes. And mm. how they was trying to crucify you because you came and people received the gift of the yeah. Holy Ghost. It's it's just amazing at how that how Matthew played out right before our eyes. Amen. It sure did. Amen. But to God be the glory. It yeah. did not work out that it way. Did not work. You understand it did not me? God work. came through and God was like, hold up. Um, hold up. That's that's not that one. Yes. Yes. You to understand God me, glory. God? I mean, Amen. God is amazing at how he He will pluck you right out of the hands of the enemy. He yes, will, he will not let not a hair be harmed on your head. But Amen. the thing about it is you have to be in right standing with God in order to receive this. So obedience is better than sacrifice. Amen. Hello, somebody. I just thank God for that one tonight. Yes. You know, just. I, I tell you, the lesson was just so profound that, you know, you can actually, every lesson that we read, every story, every page, everywhere, I try to think about how this has touched my life and how the volume of the books is coming to life in my life. You know, I was telling one of my clients that today, you know, it's amazing how this book was written over 2000 years ago. And, and God has been the same yesterday, today, and, and forevermore. Glory to God. Amen. Y'all pray my strength in the Lord because he is that good. Amen. Yes. yes. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. prosper. Hallelujah. Everybody say that. No weapon formed no no weapon weapon form against, form against, against us shall prosper. Against 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 prosper. Amen. Amen. I am blessed and not cursed. Amen. I am blessed and not cursed. I am blessed and not cursed. Amen. The Lord will supply all my needs. The Lord. Amen. The Lord, the Lord will supply all my needs. Yes, Lord. According to his riches and glory. According, According to his riches and glory. I will look to the hills which come in my help. I will, I will look, look to, to the hills from which I'm with my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Amen. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless, bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continue to be in my mouth. His praises shall continue to be in my mouth. Bless the name of the Lord. Ha Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Glory. God. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Amen. Now, okay, are y'all prophetic people or what? Yes, Amen. Quoting that word of God makes you prophetic. Amen. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. You have to make sure you quoting that good word, declaring the decreeing over your life, over you, over your life, over your household, your children. Everybody did they um declaring of the morning, commanding your day this morning. Amen. Yes. Yes, I did. All right. What? I what is? I mean, I didn't. Here. I don't know what to do with. What do you? What is that? Okay. You, you remember, when, remember when I said on Sunday that uh, uh, you just 
you you have to command when you get up you just say lord i command my day today everything that i just did like quoting scriptures okay. over your life just okay. quoting some scriptures over your life and because that chases out remember we read that scripture on um sunday it chases the things that we're saying by quoting the word of god it ch it gets a head start on the uh, devil okay yeah. on trouble okay because mm. it goes out there in the atmosphere if you ain't saying nothing then what you ain't got nothing to shield you yes mm -hmm. so you gotta open up your mouth and say it and you do it every single morning and that's what uh, we read on Sunday, to you. remember that verse from the book of Job? Yes, yes. I'll send it to your phone. Okay. All right. Okay, somebody just logged on on the iPhone. I don't know who that is. Did you want to say something? Is mm -hmm. that, no, Shakia always have her name. She was driving. She must have lost um, connection, but there's somebody else that just logged in. Are you a visitor? Anybody, the person on the iPhone? That might be my daughter. Oh, okay. Torby, you can say hi. You don't gotta be shy about it. We family here. Hey, man. <laughs> hi. Hello, Tori. <laughs> Welcome to the village. <laughs> don't be a stranger. Hey, Amen. Mm, well, yeah. welcome, Tori. Another young person coming on. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Yes. All right, DP, did you have a comment? Uh, yeah, just wanted to say every time we hop on and we get this good word in this, you know, it just does something in my spirit. So I'm just thankful and grateful and happy to see everybody on tonight. And make us, you remember you had a, you had a comment you wanted to make, remember an announcement? Make your announcement. Oh, oh yeah, announcement. So uh, you know, my mother, myself, and we have another um, health expert. We're going to be doing a live seminar, virtual, virtual seminar, uh, probably over the span of like three days, three different topics, really helping you take just not your spiritual life, but your, your physical life, your mental life, your financial life, all the way to the next level. Um, so we're working out the details on what day it's going to be and when it's coming up, but We'll let y'all know it's going to be a fee associated with it, though, because we got to make sure everything is done professionally and make sure it's the right way. Um, but, man, I'm just super excited because I know, you know, when God moves, everything changes. Ooh, I'm so happy about that, man. You can change. Like, you can Amen. change your situation. You can change your mindset. You can get to whatever you need to get to. You got goals, dreams, aspirations. I'm here to tell you anything's possible. Anything's possible. Me and my wife, you know, we started out just with a, a dream, just trying to do one thing. Next thing you know, we have plenty of people that just call us every day asking for help, asking for us to just help their program. So we're just thankful for the opportunity. We want to be able to give back. Yeah. Amen. Bless God. Amen. Bless God. Hallelujah. All right. So hopefully as we meet DP and his, uh, his colleague, as we get together with discussing, we're going to do this workshop seminar. It will be a fee attached to each day. So um, this information though, y'all, y'all not gonna find nowhere else. <laughs> Hallelujah. So <laughs> it's, very, it's, 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 it's very good, deep, good information. So once we get all of the details- Oh yeah, and, and to piggyback, I'm sorry to cut you off, mommy, but to piggyback mm -hmm. off of that, we, it's gonna be recorded. So if you're like, man, I don't know what day, I, I got stuff to do, like you could go back, you could watch it. It's going to be on demand when you pay your fee, like you get access to your recording so you can watch it, go back, watch film on it, take your notes, do whatever you need to do. It's all just going to be able to help you. Amen. 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 This Amen. is something that the Lord let on me and DP's heart at the same time, because when he was telling me, I said, the Holy Ghost already spoke to me. I just ain't say nothing to you about it. But yeah, so it's gonna be it's gonna be powerful, and again, we'll keep you guys updated, okay? But that's something that uh, the villagers can look forward to. And then um, <laughs> Tia said, "Perfect timing." Yes, it is. It's perfect timing for you. She's an entrepreneur, and she's um, going about her business. Get her and Crystal, you too. You want to start a t-shirt business, and 
Tia has a bottle business. So all of this is going to be good information for you guys to get your businesses off the ground, get it rolling, um, giving you encouragement and information, step-by-step -step, things that y'all can do um, to make it start happening. Amen. 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 All right. And, and it's going to be a health expert. He has a degree in that. He's a fitness uh, person. So, hey, you know, y'all going to, it's going to be around the board. Amen. All right. To God be the glory. So I thank everybody for coming out. Anybody else have a comment they want to say before we hang up? I want to yeah, do the benediction. Uh, huh? I want to do the benediction. Okay. And let me just say, uh, BJ, um, tell your mom about the workshop, okay? Or um, Tia, you, you can tell your sister about it. I'll make an announcement again on Sunday about it. Okay. All right, without okay. further okay, without further ado, go ahead, Shaquavia. All right, Shaquavia, let's <laughs> get it. Amen. <laughs> Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you for allowing us to be here on tonight to yes. get this word um, from you, Heavenly Father. Thank you for allowing us to have a chance to make a better Heavenly Father. Thank you for allowing us to have a chance to learn something. Uh oh, she done froze up. The devil is a lie. The blood yes. of Jesus. Yes. Shaquavia, log back in. You froze up. Mm. I mean, look at the enemy. She this is her first time doing the benediction. Mm. Shaquavia, log back in. Let's give her a minute, y'all, so she can log back in. Mm -hmm. Just probably realizing that she was uh, frozen. Mm. Ain't God good, y'all? His word. All the time. Yes, all the time. We just, it's so good, like Monique said, when you can, um, and Crystal and, and Dee, when you can actually see yourself in there. You know, hey. your life or something you went through, an experience you had with a person, you hey. know? Hey, man. Thank you, Jesus. It's so good to um, be actually to uh, see it comes a life uh, to life in your life. Amen. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know what's going on. She came up, is she going to log back on or what? Here she go. All right. All right, Shaquavia, you, the devil, he done messed with you. He froze it up, but the blood that of Jesus. Was good, that was a good little prayer, but I was, I was Go ahead, finish your prayer. Heavenly Father, um, I just want to thank you for everything that you allowed us to learn in this ceremony here. It must be where you located at. Could you hear me now? Okay, go ahead, yeah. Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you for allowing us to get the lesson that we had tonight, Heavenly Father. Thank you for allowing us to learn something new about you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you for everything that you taught us, Lord. Thank you for everything that we don't know yet, Heavenly Father, that we will learn in the future, Lord. I pray that you protect over us, Heavenly Father. Protect over the kids in these schoolhouses, Heavenly Father. Mm. Protect them from all the bitterness, all the evilness that's coming against them, Heavenly Father. I yeah. just pray that you do. Continue to hold us, Heavenly Father. Hold us in your hands, Lord, and continue to guide us to where we need to be to yes. stay on the straight and narrow to you, Heavenly Father. We just want to make it to the promised land to you, Heavenly yes. Father. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you for everything yes. that you've done, Heavenly Father. Lord, I pray that you just continue to... Heavenly Father, I pray that you just continue to just guide us and lead us, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. 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 What a beautiful Amen. benediction. Amen. Our first time. Yes. Amen. Amen. I'm Amen. Getting better. I'm getting better. Yes, she's growing. Amen. She used to be so shy and anxiety. Look at that. Look at God. Look at God. Taking that anxiety away from her, Amen. taking away from Jasmine, took it away from uh TT. Um, even Gabrielle don't have it no more. Amen. Everybody's just growing. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord. Amen. All right. All right, uh, villagers. I love you guys. And um, so Thursday night, remembers prayer. And is everybody at least sending a link out to one person, you know? Mm -hmm. Send that link out, that prayer link out on Thursday to at least one person, one, at least one. 
Because folks need prayer. People's lives is toe up from the flow up. And they don't realize they need help. You know? So anyway, and I'm going to tell y'all, prayer answers all things. All things. That's what the Bible says, okay? So people have to realize this little okie doke stuff folks is running around here doing is not going to cut it for these days that we're living in. Amen. You got to have a real uh, healthy prayer life to mm -hmm. see some kind of uh, uh, things working to your favor, okay, in this world. Amen. Okay? You can't have no prayer life looking like it's malnutrition. <laughs> Amen. So the, the enemy, honey, he'll come and pounce on you and keep pouncing on you. And this is why a lot of people can't get out that rut they in because they're not putting, you know, God in their lives. You're not going to just live no peachy cream, rosy rose life, and you don't even acknowledge God no kind of way. You know, we mm. even have trials and tribulation. So I don't know why these people in the world think they ain't going to have problems. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So glory to God. All right, villagers, I love you guys. And look at TT, she glowing. Look at TT, y'all. Ain't she glowing, y'all? You Jeez. know she got the Holy Ghost. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. I tell you. Amen. To God be the glory. I love you guys. Y'all have a, a good evening. And I'll see y'all on Thursday.